Welcome to our next video for our curtain wall series. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to add millions, move millions and remove millions so that we can get the desired design with the millions that we wish. OK, so let's start us off. Now, first of all, as we move our cursor, we can select individual millions. But what I want you to do is to just move across and you can also see that you've got the curtain wall grids and that's another important feature. Use the tab key also to help you cycle through selections dependent on where you've got the cursor and that will help you pick individual grids or the whole grid or whichever. So as I click on that grid you can now see that it's pinned and we've got the dimensions above and below. If you try to change those dimensions while it's pinned, nothing happens. If you then unpin it, click on that, you can now change it to your desired height. OK, let's just say we want to get rid of some of these millions. OK, we can click on that, unpin it and just press delete and the million is gone. You may notice that we also have this line by here where the glass is now intersecting each other and joining and it creates a line which isn't very attractive. So how do we deal with that? Well, again, move your cursor to select that curtain wall grid and press the add remove segments and just point at the segment there that you want to get rid of. And that's now done. It's one solid piece of glass once more. So what about if we want to add some more millions now? Well, I'm going to jump across to my elevation just to make this a little bit easier. OK, let's just get these level markers out of my way. And now I'm going to use the curtain grid command by there. And what I have to do here is quite literally, you've got a few options, all segments, one segment, all except picked. So if I want to do, say, this bottom row by here, I'll just do that with all of them. Click and it's now put millions in all of those segments across there. If I want to do some individual segments, I can just pick here and you're still getting the dimensions come up, which is quite handy. And I could do something like that, which just puts those individual ones in it can be a little fiddly sometimes to get them in the right place press escape once so it gets rid of the ones that i've just done and as you can see that i'll zoom in a bit that might make it a bit easier let's try again so we can get them if you point on that side look we can split them that way and that could go like that we might want to adjust the priorities of that one there we go. Look, by clicking those little crosses, you can just adjust those millions that way. And that looks much nicer. OK, so there are a variety of ways that you can add and move around those millions. Let's try doing a curtain one this time, all except picked. So I'll just go to another row by here and we decide where we want it. So we'll stick it in that middle section once more. There we go. And now we've got to pick which ones we do not want to have. OK, so I could just pick a few of these. And. Press enter and there we go. So now we can see how that one works as well. So that's just a quick video on showing you how to move around millions you've already placed, how to delete millions and make sure that you don't have those lines where the glass is and also to add millions as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful and look forward to seeing you next time.